Welcome back to another Honest Chat with Maria and today we are taking aim at the Cambridge Zoology Department and that's because I did my third year in zoology so that's known as part two in Cambridge. It's a funny system where part 1A and 1B are first and second year respectively and then part two is third year. So anyway, we're just going to be diving into what I thought were the good bits, the bad bits, and the bits I wish didn't really happen. So I'm first going to explain quickly how part two zoology worked and how it was graded in the end and what kind of contact hours I had to do throughout and then which ones were actually optional. Uh, with zoology, you were graded on four modules that you did. So you would do two modules in the first term and then two modules in the second term. And for each of those like two modules, you'd have three lectures per week. So you'd have six lectures in total, which was really quite relaxed and I was very happy with. They did get a ton of recommended reading as well. So that would take up a lot of the time. To support the lectures that you were having, you could also get supervisions from somebody in the faculty. So that's like small group teaching. So for me, this ranged from groups of one to one, two to one, and three to one. I also had a director of studies who was supposed to oversee my progress and have regular meetings with me. So the rest of it though was graded with coursework and that's something I was really happy with because I think I tend to do better with coursework anyway. So the first thing for us was the research project proposal known as the RPP and that was worth like 8% of our grade I think. That was due in at the end of the first term but honestly it was such a stress at the time but I'm glad I had it out the way so there was just one less thing to think about later on. And then the big chunk of the coursework came from the research project. For the research projects, you could choose from either two one-term projects or one two-term project, so a longer one. So I ended up doing one two-term project because I thought it was a lot of fast-changing projects throughout. That was assessed with one 7,500 word massive project write-up and then there was also a presentation. So you would do this in front of maybe seven other students and two of like the main examiners in the faculty and you'd just be talking away for like 10 minutes explaining about your project and then you'd be asked questions at the end and that was worth six percent. So I have the breakdown of how each of those were graded. So each module was worth 16 percent, the RPP was worth eight percent and then the project was overall 28 percent but that included six percent from the presentation that we did. In my evaluation, I've decided to focus on four main areas. So these ones are the teaching, the subject content, the lab and like project work, and the department and faculty as a whole. So in terms of subject content, I went for four modules in evolution and I actually really enjoyed all of them, especially the more like paleontology stuff. So I did vertebrate evolution, mammalian evolution, and then two evolution and behavior papers. So one of them was focusing more on individuals and then the other one was focusing on populations and how different individuals would interact within those. I really liked the modules. As I've said before, they're shared with lots of other departments. So there's a lot of choice and you can kind of make it work for you. Um, but honestly, for me, I loved how like you could zoom out and like see the whole big picture fit together. And I found that really rewarding. Also, because I enjoy the content, it meant that it was way easier to do that extra reading and I could get away with doing a lot of the extra reading by watching YouTube videos. Um, so if you are doing part two zoology, I do recommend. <laughs> it's a good way to get extra stuff for your essays without actually having to do too much work. So the next section though is the teaching. The teaching was on the whole really good. So for the vertebrate and mammalian evolution courses, I would have uh, half of the lectures delivered by the course organizer, who was really good and really engaging. One of them even had a YouTube channel where he'd explain everything and he'd go over like certain like skeletons and he'd explain like the different features and that made it really engaging and it consolidated the learning in a way we couldn't really have done as easily in the classroom. For those courses as well, 
the lecture hall we had was really small. It was a bit like a classroom. You might have seen that on one of my vlogs, but it meant that it was a lot easier to talk to the lecturers and ask them questions whenever you were stuck. It definitely felt a lot more like school than like lectures in general. So I really think I thrived in that sort of supportive environment. I think that was even further consolidated with the fact that we had demonstrations. So those were like one to three times per week in the Zoology Museum, which is right next door to the faculty. And we'd be taken around it and we'd be given like a whole bunch of fossils laid out on a table and we'd get to examine those and there'd be like supporting sheets and the like lecturers would be coming around and explaining everything to you. And though this wasn't examined, I think it was really valuable because it, you got to understand what was going on a lot better. The other thing about the teaching is the supervisions. So the small group teaching that's very specific to Cambridge. Um, on the whole, for me, this was really good, but I didn't manage to get supervisors regularly for one of my courses in first term. So this was for my evolution and behavior module. And that's because the course was super popular that year. And so I managed to get one with the, the course organizer and then one with one of the other lecturers. But I think for me, having like continuous support from one person and like regular feedback on like my essay writing skills was really important. So that was a bit of a letdown for that course. But for my other modules, I was really lucky with supervisors and they definitely gave me a lot of advice. One of them even gave me one-to-one -one supervisions and was literally voted the best supervisor in the department. So she was wonderful. She'd find us like additional things to read about. She'd answer all our questions. Um, but with all of them, they'd be giving really regular essay feedback, even during the exam period. And they'd be encouraging us to do more work and understand things that we were struggling with. So on the whole, I loved the supervisors I did manage to get. And I think it really helped with boosting my exam grade at the end of the day. Whew. So third thing I want to talk about is the lab work slash project. And this is a bit of a tricky one. So in the end, I ended up doing quite well on the coursework. So I got 76% on my project, though I'm not sure how much of that came from the presentation. So my project was focused on the development of like the brain and spinal cord of these really like ancestral fish-like things, to put it simply. Um, but it was it was definitely interesting. We had a few weeks in the lab where we'd be like um, treating the different embryos and seeing how they changed. Then we'd like, use a really expensive microscope to like take images of them. And then after that, we would use a certain software on our laptops and just see what was going on and how the different treatments affected the cells and the embryos. So I was really lucky to be doing my project with two other students and I thought that was really nice because it meant that I could kind of see how other people were reacting to the situation that they were thrown in. But overall I think the lab was really supportive so they had three PhD students one master student and then two other part two students like me. It meant that we were really supported with learning the different techniques, especially the wet lab and the, actually to be fair, all of the techniques, I found them all hard, um, but we were like constantly supported with that. And for me, having a lab partner was really important because it meant we could like bounce ideas off of each other. And it meant that somebody else was stuck as well. So I guess the whole process was less daunting. Um, I felt like I was very much empowered to do the research in my department as well. So we were under a really like strong, like kind of boss lady um, who was like our PI, so like the project investigator. So she was in charge of the whole placement. She was like really like, she was honestly so cool leading the whole team. And I thought that was amazing. And we felt like we were valued members, so we were allowed to go into their like Ampioxus breeding facility, which was absolutely awesome. So it was kind of in like a basement section and they have all these tanks and like they have to be kept in really like specific special conditions uh, so they don't die. Um, and 
yeah, you, we got to help with like feeding them and washing their tanks and like helping count them. And like since there aren't very many Ampioxus facilities in the world, because they're like difficult to rear, um, I really felt like I was quite fortunate to be in that position to get to experience that and find out more about being in a lab in the first place. Um, I'm also grateful that I got to do it because I'd never experienced lab stuff and I really needed to gauge whether it was for me. And to be honest, I think I was really like surprised in a good way. So I would count that as a win. And yeah, as a whole, the lab was really supportive. So for like that one like presentation that I had to do at the end of the year, I had at least two, maybe even three mock presentations. And even though like the second to last presentation was terrible, I honest, I came out crying. I forgot what I was saying and my slides were crap. By the time I went to the real thing, I, I did really well. Like I was really nervous, but my last presentation and the one that counted went really smoothly. And I think that comes down to a lot of the practice and the feedback I was getting, even if it wasn't like super positive at the time. So the PhD student I was assigned really did help me with the coding, but at the same time, I still hated the coding. Like, regardless of what you've seen in my previous videos, I hated it. Like, if I said something positive about the coding, that's cap, it's a lie. Maybe I was in a good mood that time. Maybe I was trying to make the best of a bad situation, but the coding was awful. And um, yeah, I didn't enjoy it. But I mean, I'm, I'm glad I got to learn about R in the first place. It's a useful skill, but did I enjoy it? No. The only thing about the project that I think could have been better was we didn't get very like quick feedback from our project supervisor, so the one that was in charge, when we were actually handing in the write-up. And since the write-up was really important, like 22% of the grade, it was important to get feedback on it before we handed it in. And so all of us in the lab got our feedback the night before it was due in. And that was really stressful. Uh, obviously, I'd had a lot of feedback from like the PhD students in the lab, but having it from the PI was really important. So she was on holiday, so uh, she couldn't have looked at us sooner, but it would have been helpful if we got them a bit earlier, just because like fixing things at the last minute was really stressful and not very good for me. But I would say that's like the only thing I didn't like about the project or think could have gone a bit more smoothly. So the last thing is the department itself. I think zoology is probably one of the friendliest and most supportive departments out of natural sciences, but potentially out of the university as a whole. So they would be constantly running lots of welfare events for us. And coming from medicine, I don't think that was really the case with medicine, whereas with zoology, we had like an animal petting zoo, so our like course administrator, she brought in her baby tortoises. We had like millipedes in and centipedes, scorpions, um, like lots of different things that we got to see. And that was really nice. And I definitely felt like they were making an effort to like support us and, you know, make the exam process a lot less daunting. There was also a lot of snacks there, which really helped. Uh, we also had another welfare event, which was like this organised coach trip to see this nature reserve that was near Cambridge. I think it was called Lake and Heath, but basically they organised free coaches to there and then we just got to walk around and it was like mostly guided because there were so many zoologists there who knew so much about like the wildlife, especially the birds. Um, and I got to meet some really great people. So on the whole, I had an amazing time there. I was really impressed by the zoology department, by how they ran this trip and they made it free for everybody. Uh, they'd also have a weekly happy hour. So that was, I think at 4 p.m. every week. And that was nice because they'd have like food and drinks for all of the staff. And though like, I didn't really go to any of those, it was really nice knowing that like, the department itself was so cohesive and they made such a big effort for their staff. Um, like within the tea room, which was like this really gorgeous and cozy little room, which had a coffee machine, may, may I add, that was really nice. Um, there was this whole wall where they had pictures of all of the staff and all of the part two students as well. And that definitely made me feel like I was included and a valued member of the team. 
and yeah it's like a minor thing but it made such a big difference to me i think in other years they also have this massive trip to panama uh, that's mainly aimed at people doing ecology but i was really gutted i didn't get to do this because uh because of the pandemic so it was cancelled but it sounded like a really awesome trip and it's subsidized by the university so if nothing else sways you i think that is so cool in general like the staff though and everybody in the department was so friendly so i had this big faff with needing to have my hard drives like sent to me or taken from the department and the course organizer administrator lady she was fantastic her name was Francesca and she honestly helped my friend collect my hard drive from the department which made such a big difference and meant that I could start with that over the Christmas holiday. Um, also um, I had a problem during one of my exams so I had like wi-fi problems and I really panicked and it ended up overrunning and she was really really sweet and supportive and I think that made a big difference in me feeling like I could keep on going with the other exams. The last couple of things are that they have a really nice library. You would have seen this from my vlogs, uh, but uh, it's called the Balfour and Newton Library. It's so cute. It's really pretty inside and there's always space in there. I think it was probably one of my favourite places to learn out of all of the libraries in Cambridge. So another perk of zoology i think and then i also have my director of studies so he was on the whole very nice but i didn't get to meet with him in person and i think he didn't really make an effort to contact me very much and whenever i'd contact him he would take ages to reply like three to four weeks or even sometimes he wouldn't reply unless it was truly an emergency and in an emergency he would be like very on it so I had this one emergency where I thought I'd lost all my project data. But other than that, he was very much a hands off guy and he wouldn't get very involved. And I think maybe for me, I would have benefited from a DOS who actually wanted to like know what I was doing more and would give me a bit more feedback on that. But on the whole, I don't think that was too detrimental because at the end of the day, I still managed to do as well as I was hoping so I managed to get a first class degree in zoology and I don't think I would have been able to do it without the support of the department and like the really excellent teaching so yeah there you have it I think overall I've kind of gushed about the zoology department there were a few things that were kind of icks but on the whole it all came together and I was really happy with it if you're considering doing zoology in Cambridge or even somewhere else do drop me a line um, or like put something in the comments but yeah on the whole I actually really do recommend it it was rogue for Cambridge medics but you know what I had a great time so I don't regret it at all um, anyway that's all from me if you like the video please like and subscribe that's all from me bye guys